Good morning to all, even God's blessings too on this day. Today we're going to look at um, the story from um, the Gospel of John in your storybook today where it's titled Jesus Teaches Nicodemus. So if you could turn with me to page 195. Um, this is the one where Jesus tells Nicodemus, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever, whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So, page 195, uh, Jesus teaches Nicodemus. And please follow along. Pharisees were not full-time church workers like the priests and Levites. They were normal Jews who thought they could gain entrance to God's heavenly home if they were careful to follow all the rules their teachers taught them. Jesus came along and taught them that it did not make God happy when they trusted in their rule-keeping rather than in His love for them. Many of the Pharisees were upset at this and refused to listen to Him. But some Pharisees listened to Jesus. One was Nicodemus, an important Jewish leader and a judge on the highest Jewish court. All the miracles made him believe Jesus was from God. He wanted to talk to Jesus, but was scared he would get in trouble if the other judges and leaders saw him with Jesus. So he waited until it was dark outside. One night, Nicodemus came and told Jesus, We know you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus tried really hard, but he couldn't understand what Jesus meant when he said, One must be born again. He asked, How can a man be born when he is old? Did Jesus mean he had to go back in his mom's tummy and be born a second time? Jesus answered, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Now it was clear. Jesus was talking about God making people new again, as he does in baptism. Most Pharisees had refused to be baptized. They knew baptism was to wash away sins, but they didn't think they had any sins to wash away. They thought they were good people who did not need God's work on them. Jesus told Nicodemus, What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. He, Jesus, meant that the first time we were born, we had the same sinful nature our mothers and fathers have. No matter how hard we try to keep the rules, we are not good enough. We all need to have our sins washed away. Jesus told Nicodemus what gives baptism its power to wash away sins. And here we have John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Nicodemus was used to following rules. Rules are a good thing when they help us get along with other people and treat one another fairly. But rules cannot make us right with God. Only Jesus can do that. God loved each of us so much, He sent Jesus, His Son, to keep the commandments for us. Then He punished Jesus on the cross for all the times we break His rules. In baptism, God washed away your sins and made you his own child for Jesus' sake. Because of Jesus' perfect life, his death on the cross, and his resurrection, you have life with our Heavenly Father right now, and you will see God in his own house, meaning you will go to heaven because of what Jesus did for you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for my baptism, when the Holy Spirit gave me a new birth as God's own child. Thank you for forgiving my sin. 
Help me to live as God's child, sharing the story of your love with everyone I meet. Amen. Okay. So this is, um, like I mentioned before, where we get the most famous Bible verse, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And what this teaches us is that even though we cannot do anything good to save ourselves, Jesus saved us. He died for us and rose from the dead and we receive those promises um, in baptism. So as the book says here, bap- the, the death of Jesus gives baptism its power to wash away sins. So three points I have for you today. First of all, Nicodemus knew Jesus came from God. Um, and he knew this because of the miracles. Uh, he told Jesus, For no one can do these miracles unless he's from God. Uh, point number two. Jesus taught Nicodemus what happens in baptism. That um, when we're born of our fathers and mothers, we are born with sin. But in baptism, we are born new. We are born into God's kingdom. God brings us into his kingdom, which through that washes away, he washes away our sins. Point three, Christ's death gives baptism power to wash away sins. Not just one sin, not just two, all of them, all of our sins. And as we continue to live in this earthly life, um, yes, There will be times when we sin, but we can look back our baptism and be reminded that Jesus did save us and that we are a God's child and that God loves us and he forgives us. And now I have some questions for you guys. Number one, why did Nicodemus go to Jesus when it was dark? Number two, when did you become a child of God? And of course, as we read through the lesson, we read that we became children of God through a baptism. Number three, how do you know Jesus loves you? And we know Jesus loves us because of that verse we read today, For God so loved the world that He gave His one only Son. He loves us, and how do we know? Because He died for us. He shows us His love at the cross and by His rising from the tomb so that you too can live with Him uh, forever. God's blessings on your day. Um, Take care.